Welcome to Economics Week 5. This is the weekly preview video. So this week we will explore the fun, we will explore a few fundamental economic concepts. We'll delve into the law of demand, the substitution effect, the income effect, normal and inferior goods, the role of demographics in the economy, and how changes in demand for one good can affect related goods. So we will begin by understanding how the law of demand operates. So the law of demand states that all else being equal, as the price of a good or service decreases, the quantity demanded for that good or service will increase, and vice versa. This inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded is represented by a downward sloping demand curve on a graph. The substitution effect, which we will discuss, occurs when consumers react to a change in the price of one good by switching to a substitute good that is now relatively cheaper. For example, if the prices of coffee rises significantly, Consumers may switch to tea as a more affordable alternative. On the other hand, the income effect is, uh, is the change in the quantity demanded of a good due, a due to a change in real income. When prices fall, consumers effectively have more purchasing power, which can lead to an increase in the quantity demanded. For instance, if gas prices drop, consumers may have more disposable income leading to increased spending on other goods and services. Moving on, we'll explain the difference between normal and inferior goods. Normal goods are those for which demand increases as consumer income rises and decreases as income falls. These goods include uh, things like uh, vacations, luxury cars, and high-end electronics. As people earn more, they tend to consume more of these goods. In contrast, inferior goods are those for which demand decreases as consumer income rises and increases as income falls. These goods are often considered lower quality or necessities, like generic food brands or public transportation. When incomes are low, people may opt for these goods due to budget constraints, but as incomes rise, they tend to switch to superior alternatives. Okay, so moving on to demographics. Demographics refer to the statistical data related to a population's characteristics, such as age, gender, income, and location. These factors play a crucial role in shaping economic trends and markets. For instance, an aging population can lead to increased demand for healthcare services and retirement products. Conversely, a young population might drive demand for education, technology, and family-oriented products. So finally, let's summarize how a change in demand for one good uh, can affect the demand for related goods. This is often referred to as the domino effect in demand. For instance, if the demand for smartphones increases, it can lead to increased demand for related goods like phone cases, screen protectors, and, mob and mobile apps. Similarly, some goods are complementary meaning that they are consumed together. An increase in the demand for one often leads to increased demand for the other. For example, an increase in the demand for cars might also boost the demand for gasoline. So I hope you found this video so far to be helpful. Um, understanding how the law of demand, the substitution effect, the income effect, normal and inferior goods, demographics, and the domino effect in demand is essential for comprehending how economic choices are made and how markets respond to changes in circumstances. So thank you, and I look forward to keep working with you during class. Thank you.